How do telcos go about building 5G environments for the new cloud economy? Shikhar, VMware is having success in evolving its cloud strategy from private clouds to private, public, hybrid, edge. Um, how do CSPs play a role in this new hybrid cloud environment? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, first, uh, I would say the uh, genesis of cloud was to take uh, underlying resources and infrastructure and make it uh, available in a way in which it was sort of easier to consume, better to self-provision. So if you think about private cloud, a lot of the enterprises have taken their data centers and made it built like a cloud. Public cloud, you've got now hyperscale providers like um, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, IBM, uh, NTT, et cetera, building public clouds. And then now, for the first time, uh, with the advent of 5G, with the advent of technologies like network functions virtualization, or NFV, and uh, uh, software-defined networking, or SDN, we can take the communication service provider network and expose it as a cloud so that new applications can be built on top of this infrastructure. So, so what's unique about the, the telco's network that, that is attractive and beneficial to enterprise customers? So first of all, I would say the telco network is unique because it is a, an inherently distributed architecture. So if you think about uh, the investments that telcos have made, uh, this is everything in wireless and wireline technology. So base stations, uh, cell towers, uh, central offices, fiber. If you bring all of this together, you now have multiple points of presence that can be leveraged in a way in which this network can make a distributed environment much more efficient for really both consumers as well as enterprises. But if you now think about enterprises specifically uh, and think about, for example, a large bank with a number of retail branches, you can now see how the telecom environment can become the distribution point for technologies like SD-WAN or software-defined wide area network to bring new services into the branches of this bank. So how can VMware help? What, what does VMware offer to service providers? So think about VMware um, uh, as, I mean, we are part of Dell Technologies. Dell Technologies has a broader systems play within that VMware is the software innovator. And so think about VMware as the software backbone that is essentially connecting these different clouds together and making them both virtualized as well as uh, available for multiple different applications. And so the VMware technology essentially takes what otherwise is more rigid communications infrastructure and makes this much more agile and multi-purpose. And so that's really what our software does. So if all goes well and telcos manage the, the, the transformation and move and evolve towards 5G and the, and the cloud economy, what might telcos look like? How, how do we see CSPs evolving over the next five years or so? Yeah, so first I would say 5G is the first time um, with the uh, help of virtualization like what VMware brings that telcos have the opportunity to becoming first class players in the cloud economy. So historically, they have been more plumbing and they've kind of been more network providers, but their only sources of monetization have been kind of voice and data largely to the consumer. With 5G and with this technology like NFV, we now have the ability for these communication service providers to participate in a whole host of new applications, which will in turn kind of test their ability to also innovate in business models and when you put these things together, some subset of these telcos and uh, communication service providers will benefit immensely. And my hope and frankly aspiration is that a few of them would now become as competitive as the Amazons and Googles and IBMs in terms of challenging them for the sort of pole positions in the cloud economy. Because this is something that telcos maybe have missed out on in, in, in previous years. They had the chance to get there, but they seem to have missed it. It's, and, and is the advent of 5G the catalyst that, that might change that for them? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think telcos have done a terrible job of participating in the cloud economy. I mean, they've kind of said, we're just great at doing one thing and we'll continue to do that one thing well. 
what this does is absolutely like you said, it is the first time that they have the opportunity to now take advantage of what was previously a train that they were not on, uh, get on board and then be leaders in that. Because like I said, nobody else has as much of a distributed architecture like the telcos have. And I also think that it is the first time that you have convergence coming into play in different forms. You have wireless and wireline technology convergence. Uh, you have IT and network convergence. And then you have sort of consumer and enterprise convergence. And these are all being brought together by this catalyst of 5G. Telcos recognize the need to transform their networks and, and their business practices and their, and their cultures. Not all telcos are evolving at the, the same rate. What advice do you have for, for those telcos who, who are still grappling with the transformation process? So first and foremost, I would say this move is on. The move to uh, become more software defined, the move to become more agile. No longer can any telco uh, survive if they're going to take uh, six months to a year to uh, 18 months to launch a new service. Because you are going to have the over the top providers, you're going to have the MVNOs come in and essentially sort of ride in and bring new services to uh, market much quicker. So if telcos need to match up and be agile, the way they need to do it is jump on to the 5G bandwagon uh, yes, there will be investment required. Yes, there will be sort of pain in terms of adjusting to a different infrastructure model and adjusting to a different business model. But that is what they need to do in order to not miss the boat again and be, like I said, leaders in the cloud economy. Great advice. Shikhar, thank you for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you.